Well, Derek's with me now. It's so good to see you, Derek. And Thank you, Andrew. You know, we were, we were just chatting there about, about EastEnders and also the fact that, you know, when you were doing this storyline, because it's been... It's been going on, obviously, for a while oh, with yes, the characters. Yeah. Um, but your your son was going through the same thing. Exactly had... the same thing. I was Gosh. going to work and Stacey, in the storyline, yes. uh, had the bipolar and depression mm -hmm. and everything. And we couldn't make out what it was, mm -hmm. storyline was. And then I was going home and there was my son, who I'd been worried about during the day that he was OK, suffering from severe depression. So Gosh. I had it... Uh, fictionally mm. and at it practically. You know, and you know what? We don't talk about mental illness enough and people aren't good. You know, it's, it's like you, what you were saying, if you've got a broken arm, you, you get a cast on your arm, people sign it and it's all fine. And you know in six weeks it's going to be OK. But nobody... Because they can't, you see, can't it. see it. Yeah, they you can't see, people see it. are frightened of the unknown. Mm. I mean, yeah, many years ago, I'm going back a long while, they used to put you in a place and lock the key and chuck yeah, the key away. That's true. But thank, that's gone now, yeah. hopefully. But it needs more... To be brought out, there are lots of well-known people, celebrities, stars, that have said, "Yes, I've got depression, mm. manic depression." And it's good that they're coming out and saying that mm. because it's bringing it to the people can see it. What's happening? No, exactly. And we and need more investigations into it by the NHS or by the government, mm. but as we know, money's short, mm. so therefore budgets are cut. But it's got to be gone in, and luckily we've got people like Mind. Mm -hmm. who are on set on EastEnders, who advise uh, Lacey, who's played Stacey, well, how, um, how she is. She's been to New York. He's in, enrolled me and himself at a gym. Oh, I'll good. be there later today, <laughs> three days a week at my age. But you know what? Get... That's really good I love it. You. Yeah. I love it on it's a machine, fantastic. doing uh, stomach <laughs> presses. and Oh, it's great. Excellent. So it's good for you physically and mentally, is that? Everything's looking rosy good. in the Martin house. Excellent. I'm so glad to hear it. Yeah. But it's so sad that you're not in EastEnders anymore. Well, in a way, it's closure. Yeah. I had 11 years wow. forward, which is for an actor, to Long have 11 time. years' work <laughs> is wonderful. Yeah. Um, then I only had a couple of bits for the last two years and my agent said they want to write you out, kill you off. And I spoke to Dominic, <laughs> Dominic, who's the executive producer, and he explained and I said, right. Yeah. I said, I appreciate the phone call. He said, I will give you a good send off, good storylines. And that's it, Charlie's Fantastic. dead. But the old dog's still alive and kicking. Absolutely. Well, now, it's going down the gym and everything. I would like a little bit in Star Wars. I could see you. Uh, I did a lot of John Pertwee Doctor Who, so right. I could do a little guest bit in there. Absolutely. I'm good at dying, so there's whole big casualty and doctors. <laughs> you know what I mean? Laying in bed, getting paid and going, <laughs> bonk. So that'll do me. So that'll do you. I yeah. can still go on. Of so. course you can. Absolutely. Just a young man. No, so. You're in your prime. I mean, sitting here with you, Lorraine, I feel like a toy boy. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> I'm only kidding. It's true. <laughs> it's true, actually. And I'm not surprised that you do. So it's off the gym this afternoon, off to yes, the gym this and afternoon. Yes, and then walk the dog afterwards. Excellent. So you're keeping, so. It, you're keeping all ready. Oh, yeah, I feel brand... I mean, I say, uh, people say, oh, I say I'm brand new. I've got two new knees, titanium, and a new titanium hip, so I'm nearly you're, brand new. You're totally so, brand yeah. new, so you're absolutely fine. So oh, Eamon Holmes, he's having a He's had his hips coming. done. Oh, he's had it done? Well, I think so. I, I think know it's, it's imminent. I think so, it's... Yeah, yeah I, I must find out, actually. That's terrible. Oh, I'll need to find out because I'm sure I'm sure it's either imminent or it has been done. Yeah. So. But you can maybe give him a wee call about it and tell him that it's oh, all yeah, fine. Oh yeah, tell him yeah. So be aware of the bedpans and things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Derek, it's a joy, an absolute joy to Thank talk you. to you. I'm so glad that your boy's okay. Yep. Um, he is. And 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 that I know and I'll that tell you him do. you send your. Regards. I absolutely yep. do, and you're right about mine. They're a fantastic organisation. They are. Helps so they many really people. Are. Thank you. Thank Great you, to see Lorraine. you. Thank you.